Hi, I'm Kelly Boker. Did you know that Oprah Winfrey is in one of my sandboxes? I want to tell you about my sandbox process and how over this past year that there have been some miraculous things happened in my life and you can start practicing it too. And the bottom line is it's fun. So let's talk about it. So the sandbox process is a process that the guides gave me, I would say a little over a year ago. It is the process of the way they first presented it to me was if something has come into my experience that's going to upset my vibration, my frequency, because we know that to create the life that we want, we want to keep our frequency as high as we possibly can. So the way that they talked to me about it, using my vivid imagination, they said that when something comes into your experience that is upsetting, you immediately, I see myself at the top of a great castle. And I literally can see the, the stone things. I don't know what they're called, but they're square and they've got holes in between them. Is it the rampart? I don't know. I don't know. That tall part of the, uh, of the castle. And I'm standing there. And when I was a little girl, I had a book that showed princesses with a pointy hat with a big, long um, veil coming off the hat. So I have on my pointy hat and I can feel the wind carrying the pretty veil away. And I'm standing there and I look down and I can see my moat and it's really a long ways away from me. It's way down, but I can see the monsters in the moat as they swim around and around my beautiful castle. And I take whatever that thing is, the thing that is bothering me, and I throw it into the moat and I can see those monsters eating it, ah, just eating it right up. Then I jump into one of my sandboxes and I see in my mind's eye, I see all of these pathways to all of these different sandboxes. And I have lots of different sandboxes, but I'm going to talk about the one that Oprah is in and why is she in one of my sandboxes? So I would jump into my sandbox and I just pretend, I just pretend, I pretend that I am sitting under the magnolia trees with Oprah Winfrey. We're sitting in the Adirondack chair. There's a beautiful little stand between us with lemonade on it. I kind of have the visual of when she uh, interviewed Adele and it was such a beautiful backdrop and it was such a beautiful, beautiful property. I think it's one of Oprah's properties. And I just feel the conversation between us. I feel the excitement in my heart that I'm going to have when I finally get to talk to Oprah. And I just play. And I just play and I want to talk about what that imagination is. When we use our imagination to play in such a fantastic kind of scenario, it has the same power in our life that when we sit and we worry about the worst case scenario. Because when we're worrying about the worst case scenario, that's our imagination too. That is using the imagination our body, and even more importantly, our frequency, and even a step beyond that, is the universe is responding to the energy of the moment, whether it's real or not. We know that we can go into our minds and we can fantasize about something and take ourselves into a really giddy, happy, excited energy, or we could go into a memory or a, or a potential or a worry, and we could take ourselves way, way down. This is a tool, a tool that we can use. Programming has been laid in our mind that says daydreaming is bad. How many times did you get scolded as a little kid being told, get your head out of the clouds. What the heck's the matter with you? I certainly did. I mean, oh my gosh, the way schools work. God forbid that a kid has any kind of creativity at all. It was beaten out of us. We're not supposed to be we're not supposed to be in our heads. We're not supposed to, but boy, it's okay to worry. It's okay to worry. Well, you better make sure that you pay attention to that young lady, whatever that is. And when, when that was told to me, I'm thinking, well, gosh, what could happen? And I'd get all in my head and I'd be scared to death. And that was all okay. That's all okay. But heaven forbid that I'm fantasizing about my Prince Charming or whatever else that I, I might have wanted to fantasize about when I was a little girl. So using our imagination for good and practicing the effect that it has on your own vibration, on your own frequency. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my relationship with Oprah. 
and that I see myself in being interviewed by Oprah Winfrey. I would just have so much fun telling Oprah what she has meant in my life. I live in a little tiny town in Maine. You guys all probably know that. I'm a country girl. My town has a population of under a thousand people and it's a Bible pounding Baptist town. And I was raised with all of that programming that I was born a sinner, that I was born bad right from the moment I come out of my mother. And that was how, you know, that was how our world is in this area. Honestly, it might be changing a little, but not a heck of a lot. Oprah was the first person that I had access to at four o'clock in the afternoon when she was on her talk show that talked, I could feel her spirituality. I knew she loved Jesus the way I loved Jesus and that she loved God the way I loved God. But she started to explore ideas. She started to bring ideas of opening our mind to a reality that is broader than what we see in this 3D reality. She was my first taste of the possibility of life, the potential of life, that a little girl who could go from her humble upbringing could be who she was. I never had a dream that I would be doing anything like this. I can tell you that. That wasn't even a dream it, because I, there just was no possibility of it. So I couldn't have dreamed anything as awesome as what I live right now. But I want to tell Oprah what she has meant in my life how she affected my, my relationship with money, how her bringing those, Susan Armand, wasn't that her name? Oh my God, she was so wonderful. She changed how I thought about how poor I was, that I had control over my money, that I could save a dollar. And now they're in retirement, guess what? That savings added up and we're doing good. So I just would love the opportunity and I think, Think about looking at her and saying, I created this Oprah. I saw it and I believed it into being and how she's going to laugh because she has believed so much of her life into being and we're going to high five and just be having that moment in time that's going to be so spectacular. And can you feel the energy? Can you see the sparkle in my eyes? I can feel it in my heart. I can feel it in my vibration. That all said, if I never meet beautiful, sweet Oprah and get to tell her how much she's meant to me, I have put that energy out there. I've put it out there. And so be it. Because what I'm living today is pretty darn awesome too. Use your imagination. Use it. When you feel yourself going down that path of worry where the ego mind will take you, when they're bringing up what's happened before, what, what, what we saw on the news that could happen, when they're thinking about what might happen in the future, that's all your ego just messing with you. Throw that into your moat. Just throw it away in whatever way feels definitive to you. I see it getting eaten up and it's gone. I'm done with you because I'm using my intention and I am saying to that worry, I am not going down that path. With my intention, I choose to use my beautiful imagination and create this wonderful scenario in my mind of sitting under that magnolia tree with Oprah Winfrey, laughing and talking and sharing our journeys together. Two women that have been on a path together. She doesn't know that, but of course, so many of us have been influenced by that beautiful lady. And I'm sure she's heard it a lot of times. But if I ever get the opportunity to look her face to face in the eye and say, you impacted my life. You made me see potentials and possibilities and you opened my mind so that when the, when the guides brought the different things into my life, which probably the guides brought Oprah into my life to, to give me that foundation of, of potential. I'd been so narrow-mindedly trained that there's one truth and one truth only. And if you're not on that path, you're going to hell and blah, all, all that goes along with that. And I'm not dissing that for whoever believes that. I'm pretty much sure that if you believe that, you're not watching this video. So I don't think I'm going to be offending anyone. 
So that all said, that's the sandbox process. Use it as often as I do. I want, I'll, let me give you just a few examples of the things that are in, that I put in my sandbox over a year ago that are now coming into fruition. I had Alex Ferrari in my sandbox and I have been interviewed by Alex Ferrari. And now I have Alex Ferrari in my sandbox again because I want to be a returning champion on Alex Ferrari. So if you go to Alex's station, put in the, in the uh, comments, Kelly Boker would be awesome. We'd like to see her again. That'd be great. <laughs> That's a call to action, you guys. Go put some comments on Alex's videos so he'll get me back again. And again, if it doesn't happen, am I devastated? No, but did I dream it would happen in the first place? I didn't think it would, but I dreamed about it and it, I had fun dreaming about it. Another thing that I put into my sandbox because I, you know, I have my gifts, but some of my gifts I don't have. Some gifts I don't have, like organization. So I would dream about how cool would it be to have somebody who was brilliant and organized reach out to me and say, wouldn't you like to come to this great place where I live and I'm going to put all the pieces of the puzzle into place and I'm going to put together a, a wonderful uh, retreat and you're going to be the, the, the uh, guest speaker. Wouldn't you like to come to, oh, let's say California or let's say the UK. Well, guess what? Right now I have two beautiful people in the world that are in California putting together a a retreat for me and in the UK putting in a re together a retreat. If they all come together, it's going to be um, the end of September 2024 and the very first part of November in 2024. So some exciting things are happening, really exciting things. I put into my sandbox, wouldn't it be wonderful if somebody who was really good at computers just wanted to help me? And the most beautiful, beautiful man in the world we have developed the most wonderful friendship and he is my guy. He, he helps me. I can ask him. He lives on the other side of the world and I can ask him any questions about computer stuff. It is amazing what we can create with our minds. And then just let it be. Just let it be. I play in the sandbox as long as it feels good. But if my mind starts to go to what am I supposed to do to make that happen? I jump out of that sandbox because we don't have to put those pieces into place. We just have to trust that they're coming. We just trust that they're on their way. So if you try to go into a sandbox and you start feeling a little angst about how to get it to happen, jump into a sandbox with your pet unicorn and fly on their back through the stars, waving to me, waving to your friends. I do that a lot too. And that is always, I have a, I have, can, it, they just flashed it into my mind. I have this beautiful visual that I'm looking down into this paddock, green grass, beautiful trees and a beautiful stream. And I have a whole herd of unicorns, baby unicorns, mommy and daddy unicorns. They're just so beautiful. And I walk amongst them and I, they nudge against me and I pat them. And the energy of that is just so peaceful and so loving and just so miraculous. So join me in my, un in, no, yeah, join me on my unicorn. I don't know if I got room for all of you guys, but join me in the sandbox process. Please check out my website, presentmomentmagic.net and my, probably the most current thing right now until I get a little better at the computer is my uh, booking site. I will be putting information out there when I have when I'm going to do a live Zoom call, when I'm going to do a class, when I'm going to do any of those kinds of things, even my retreats uh, get put out there. So check it out. My booking site is presentmomentmagic.as.me. Check that out too. Like and subscribe. Email me, be part of my tribe, kellybelka7 at gmail.com, and I'll be seeing you all soon.